I'm Sherry Taylor and today I want to talk with you about the order of testing. Many of you have asked about the flow of your testing. How will it go? So let's take a quick look. On day one, which is Friday, you will meet and be taken to a room with the other testers and you will be given an overview of the testing process. This could take about an hour. Then you will get to meet all of the examiners and after that, you will go into the lab and check off on the four lab stations. Any labs that you do not pass this evening, you will be given one opportunity to repeat failed labs on day two after you've completed your patient care. Once you've completed your lab skills portion, you will be taken to the floor and quickly shown the areas like the clean and dirty utility rooms, the med rooms, supply rooms, uh, what a patient room looks like, and how to operate equipment. After that, you will be taken to the chart and shown what to look at in the chart, and you will be given the patient care package, which is your Appendix H in your study guide. The Cardex will be the only thing filled out. You may take some quick notes, being mindful of HIPAA laws, and you will then go back to your hotel and work your care plans. The planning phase form is the only paper you can actually fill out on Friday night. On day two, usually it's Saturday, in the morning you will have one more chance to look in the chart and get report from the primary nurse if needed and make any necessary changes to your care plan at this time. Go ahead and write your grid if you're using one on the back side of your patient care packet and highlight your cardex if you have not. Once you've completed all of this and there are no blanks on your planning phase form, you turn in your packet and your Mosby's book for your care plans to be graded and you sit and you wait. They will come back and tell you whether you get to move on to the patient's room for the implementation phase or not. After completing the first patient, you will then be given your second patient right there on the spot. Your assessment is given and you look in the chart, talk with the primary nurse, highlight your cardex, write your grid, and write your care plans. Once you've completed all of this and there are no blanks on your planning phase form, you turn it in for grading. After you've completed your second patient, at this time you sit and wait until an examiner can come get you to take you to make up the necessary labs you missed on Friday or on day one. Then if you pass the labs, you go back to your hotel and rest up until day three. If you do not pass your labs at this time, you will be instructed to sign a fail and go home. So it does not matter how good your patient care was, if you cannot pass those labs, you will be sent home. This is why it's so important to knock out those labs on Friday, if at all possible. On day three, you will come in first thing in the morning and complete your final patient care situation. After that time, any patient care situations that were not passed on Saturday, you will be given the opportunity to make them up at this point. But keep in mind, you're only allowed to make up one adult and one pediatric patient care situation. I'm Sherry Taylor, and thank you for watching.